Hello Raptors, this is an introduction to team defense. We're going to talk about adjacent slides. First, we're going to talk about the first slide. So we have offense in teal, defense in dark. The gold ball above player number one is the ball carrier. Whenever you see that gold ball, that will be the ball carrier. Okay, so right now we have a three-on-three -three situation. We have Defender A guarding the ball carrier number one, and we have Defender F and Defender B guarding the adjacent players. All adjacent means is next to, as far as lacrosse is concerned. So, player F, player B are adjacent. So we have player calling ball. We have the adjacent player on the right side of the ball defender calling right. And then same thing with the defender on the left side of the ball carrier calling left. What they're saying is that if the ball carrier beats the man, that they have that side covered and they are going to slide. So it's going to look something like this. Boom, that's a slide. Okay, time to talk about the second slide. So, again, second slide. We have the ball carrier, number one, uh, guarded by number A, defender A. And we have B on the right side, F on the left side, and now we have players C and E. There are the potential two slides. Just like defender B has the first slide on the right side, defender C is going to have the two slide on the right side and just like F has the slide on the left side, defender E has the second slide on the left side. So they're going to make their communications right, left, to left, to right accordingly, just like that. So in action we have one beating, F's going to call his slide and make his move and E is following right hand. Now the same thing happens with the B and C if the ball carrier beats A on the right. Okay, here we go, three slide. So, same setup. Notice that we just added player D on the defensive side. So, what's important is D is on the complete opposite side, and so no matter what, D is going to be the three slide in every situation here. So we have the ball call, the right call, the left call, the two left call, the two right call, and finally the three call. Notice everyone is speaking. Very important. So one's going to make his move. Our slide occurs. Our two slide occurs. And now finally the three slide occurs. Of course, all of that is going to happen in one fluid motion. Finally, we have the recovery slide. If you noticed, when D slid over to offensive player six, offensive player four was left wide open. Well, in order to stop that, we have to have A drop back and cover that man. So when one makes his move, we have a slide, slide movement, D comes across, and A is going to quickly cover that hole. Preferably run right into the middle of the paint, look for player number four. He might be sneaking around, might make a movement, so we don't necessarily want to collapse straight down to the bottom of GLE. We might find ourselves out of position. So nice, find a nice spot in front of the goal. Well, that is adjacent sliding in a nutshell. We will be going over that further in practice.